مرحبا بكم في نيو توتوريال في هذا التوتوريال سوف نتعلم اعمال التسويه جريدنج in every project we have to get first into a certain level where we call it the grading level or اعمال uh, التسويه before we start talking about in details about grading let's have a look at this list we got here this list is uh, what uh, shows here the things we need to know about grading in if you have a if you have a career in the construction industry let's have a look at this uh, list one by one now what is grading why do we need grading what information do we need to perform grading what machines mechanical machines do we use for grading what surveying instrument is commonly used for grading how do we use rotating laser to carry out the grading? How to calculate digitally the volume of cut and fill due to grading? Grading project drawings. How do we calculate grading in 3D with software digitally and how we calculate it, uh, the grading manually or the traditional way? We will, go, we will answer these questions one by one as we go through the tutorial. But for now, let's have a look at a couple of pictures here we got to have an idea about what is grading? This picture shows uh, this land where our house is already been built, but they decided to build some more houses in this area. So the first thing we they need to do is to, to dig out the ground to come down to a certain level where the new house is going to take place. So how we decide what level it is? Well, basically, grading uh, is different from building houses, buildings, or any other uh, commercial use, like for example, supermarket, rather than motorways. The motorways grading is different than uh, building and uh, housing, uh, commercial building and housing grading. This this one here for housing, the, you see the the level is flat. There is no there is no slopes or fall, so uh, you cannot build on falls or uh, slopes while the roads you build it with falls or slopes um, and the other thing as well is the grading level is uh, with the with the buildings is not being given in the design it is something it is something you have to work out uh, from a different from one job to another but it is a very close level to the foundation level where then as I said, we have another picture here to show us that's another another graded area ready ready for the next stage to to build up on it the next layer of foundations and uh, when it comes to the, when it comes to motorways as we said we got this here it is it is different with motorways with motorways we got this one design here this is these are the layers of the motorway and the gradient the grading level is is the bottom link here is the bottom right to the bottom or they call it the formation level where the levels of the road will, will be laid on top of that it's not like uh, sub base capping sub base tarmac or concrete uh, so for now for now let's have a look now at this model here uh, we have this uh, the design of this building with the, it's, it's a reinforced concrete building with foundation and slabs, staircases and all these items. So the question we ask here, what what level uh, we 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 use here for to grade this area? As I mentioned earlier on, when it comes to building, it's different than grading in roads and motorways. In roads and motorways, you be you be given that level, while in roads and buildings, uh, sorry, it's it's something we have to work it out, or what is suitable for every different site. For example, let's have a look at in this in this particular case, in this particular case. Let's have a look at the cross section here. What's the cross section? The so cross section shows here. These are the foundations and that's the slab and we the the gradient level it's something between level 
any level between the top of the foundation and the under the slab. And if I was working on this project, I will definitely use something like four to six inches uh, above this level. What we got here, uh, we got one minus 1.3, which is this level here, plus 800. That will give us minus 0.7. So I would say another four inches or six inches. I would say I will I will choose personally from my experience. I will choose minus 0.6. Uh, to to grade the area ready for this project, but as I said, it is different from one uh, project team to another. What they decide, and the graded the graded surf the graded uh, surface it can always be uh, after a few months in the construction site where you have so many mechanical machines running over it, and you can be stripped a layer of it will be stripped and replaced by uh, capping or by any other material which will consolidate it uh, and will be compacted. Uh, the other thing is as well the graded surface it has to be come down to a good ground where it is uh, being tested and it is the, the ground where we can start the foundation. In UK, here in UK, usually we come down to a level where it is you see the clay. Uh, brown clay or um, blue clay and if the ground is, is, is not suitable there are other methods of using pile, piling and uh, many other techniques but for now let's stick to uh, to work out how we get to this level and what it look like and um, we have another drawing here where it shows mostly is the level of the this is this is a graded area this is a graded area and it came out to this this shape where it is ready uh, in fact this is a 3d you can look at it 3d it is ready to start the footing foundations and drainage but before before we we got to this stage here let's have a look what was what used to look like before it was something like that so when you when you arrive on site and you see the ground, this is the high level, that is the lower level, and our aim to get an area in between where we have a flat area to start the process of construction. Um, let's say have a look at the cross section here. This is give us a clear picture now. As you see here, this is the cross section and the elevation. We see that's the top, that's the bottom. Our aim to get a level where here to start here, where I can start our foundation from that level. So by 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 excavating and getting to this level, we can get to this level, which is nice and flat. So I can start once I'm I'm I'm, I'm flat area. I can start, for example, my my foundation. Uh, let's 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 put some. Um, what we got here? Let's try something else. Let's try. How about this one here? This. Let's try some uh, pad foundation. We we will put some few pad foundation randomly, just to see what's look like when you have when you graded an area. So that is done. So perhaps perhaps I can I can uh, put some beams as well and uh, to see. Uh, that's that's fine. We'll we we'll throw some beams as well to see that what's gonna look like. So this is typically what's happened in work where you have a graded area, then the foundation stuff will start to take a place. Let's have a look at the 3D and see what this look like. Yes, it will look like something like let's uh, give us some let's give us some color now, and so we can have let's see what we got here. Yeah, let's see now what this look like. This is what it look like. So you see now, this is right of the bottom of it. So when you grade the area, when you grade an area, then 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 you have then you have the the way is. 
you have an idea about what's what is going on there and you start the foundation uh, beams drainage anything where uh, it's been specified in the project so we had a look at so now we have a good idea about uh, the grade grading what's mean and what level uh, we we choose now uh, let's have a look at the the details of calculating the graded uh, grading um, level we move to this drawing and what we see here we see uh, a big area the outer bound, outer boundary and a small area inside uh, we ask the question what are the, what what this mean the basically it's the big area is the existing ground level and the middle one is basically is the graded area where we're going to start the footing foundation drainage everything else very much like what we saw in this picture here where the outer area is the existing level which being surveyed and from Rafa Masahi and the inside is the graded area where we see here the small one to check on that if you see here we got the levels here 12.04 11 12.5 uh, it's all different levels so so all the different manasib 11.73 12.0 but while inside if you look at inside inside this has been worked out the graded area is worked out to 11.8 this is constant constant so so and uh, perhaps we ask the question what are these green lines here and what are the here red lines so the green lines are that it may represent fill area so this this corner here is a fill or redden while this area here it is the red one it is cut cut or cut and um, so to just to double check to see that these are exactly what are we are uh, the the levels for example let's have some spot levels ourselves so whatever i click here you will have 11.8 click here click here click here click here this area it is one flat area which is 11.8 while while uh, outside outside there it is whatever whatever you click there it is should be coming out as different levels like for example click here then 12.5 while you click there is 12.04 you click here you know it's, it's all different 8.4 it's all all different levels very much like so that is um what is the ex the difference between existing ground level and the graded level and to see to see that in 3d to see that in 3d to visualize it even more it is something like it is something like that you know so this is this is what is all this is in, in in 3d what you see there so now now we we had visualized and we see we seen we seen what's uh, what's uh, the 3d and what's the outside what's the inside of the graded area and uh, let's move on let's move on to uh, a new uh, the new question uh, about the grading which is now what what machines do we use for grading ba basically there are a number of okay so now it's what machines do we use for grading uh, what we see here is uh, three types of basically uh, plant where we got here the exhibitor or they call it the 360 360 exhibitor is where the the part of the machine where the driver and the whole uh, buckets will rotate 360 degrees around itself 
and it will track over the soil and it is very powerful machines they come different sizes 40 tonner or 30 tonners and this is what's called with a bucket and this this bucket is where we're picking up and exhibiting and picking up all the earth soil and will load it into the dumper track and the dumper truck will transport all this earth to allocated areas where they can deposit there for a later use just in case we got other areas where it need fill ready and the other uh, uh, the other machine we got on the left hand side here where it's called the bulldozer it got other names kind of called blade uh, d4 d6 uh, this particular machine is which push uh, once it's been load, uh, once it's been uh, uh, loaded with all this uh, earth, it will push this earth alongside the graded area to level it all off. Uh, we got other pictures here where we have it properly. This is how the D, the D6 or D4, the bulldozer will grade, uh, grade the area is being specified to a certain level to the soup. Some of them, the new one, are equipped with GPS, where they level level the area uh, on uh, as with with the program is being fitted inside the driver cabin. The other machines we'll have a look at it, which they are the basically they are the smaller uh, plant, which is we call it. This is a, a, a dumper which is about three three ton dumper or five ton dumper they usually use for smaller uh, construction sites where they can um, transport a small amount of uh, earth or soil from excavated area into the allocated where i can see it here right at the back there um, other there are many other uh, mechanical uh, machines where this kind of uh, uh, many 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 other machines but in this particular case this is what they call the the backhoe loader the backhoe loader where it can blade can grade the front and the back there you can exhibit uh, the most common one we all hear of uh, are the jcbs um, and this one is for uh, basically for drilling and all this type of work So now we had a good idea about what type of plant I used in grading. Let's have another look at what we got here. Um, so how about now what we what surveying instrument is commonly used for grading? Yeah, so this instrument is called rotating laser. And uh, the rotating laser is uh, is, a, is an instrument where used commonly in grading a flat areas. Some of them are equipped to be grading uh, an area where with a slope as well. So to ensure that it is, if you are leveling a flat area, ensure are all the digit inside set on zero, not on a gradient like one percent or two percent no everything has to be zero but some of them are just been designed just to level a flat area where there is no other um, bottoms there or facilities to level on slopes as well this consists on this part which is set on the tripod and usually it will level itself once it's switched on and they go to the other side is it uh, will be a man uh, holding into a stick there, which is uh, which got all this reading thing, but uh, you don't have to have a stick like like this one now. Uh, you can, I mean, if you are working on uh, a smaller construction site where it is any any piece of wood uh, at this shape will can with 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 a flat end can purpose of this thing, and um, we got. Um, Let's have a look now about to have an idea about how this how this uh, instrument uh, the basic of it how does it work. So once it's switched on, and as long as the top of the tripod is um, 
considerably like you know flat it will level itself so what's happened when it's level itself once it's once it's leveled itself it will it will have a laser where it is reflected from from here and it goes straight in, 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 a, in a horizontal line like that so as it's rotating this will transmit laser at this level horizontally so how we benefit of that of uh, of this laser so for example uh, on a construction site you see the ground is going up down it's all different levels so but in construction we have certain uh, uh, where we have a control station or or a reference a reference line for example the previous uh, exercise we said it's the grading level as 11.8 so in every construction side we supposed to have a reference for example let's have assumed that in this uh, uh, in this exercise we have a, a benchmark or a station where it is the level is let's say uh, let's say it is 12 12 the level of the reference 12 meters we explained that before 12 meters that is above sea level so so once once we have a reference once we have a reference specified here as let's say 12 so as we, this is transmitting the the level into into uh, the work area so you hold your stick you hold your stick on top of the reference we know this reference the top of it is 12 meters above sea level just assuming that so once we once we hold the stick here and we have this part which called the receiver and you see this arrow here pointing down that means you need to go down or to go up and if it is because this line here that means it is what is supposed to be the level and start beeping so to go back again as we said this rotating laser transmitting laser and horizontally and once it's hit this stick here and let's say you got the receiver at this end like that and you know let's say for examples like that and so this line this line is this line is hit the receiver at this level there so once it's hit this level there and this start bleeping and you see this line coming out in it that's mean if scale you down or up so it is once it's hit this level that's mean this is the level and we start beeping this is the level where it is the horizontal line is hitting the receiver so how we benefit from this we we'll benefit of it now by by this laser hitting the receiver at this level here so from when it hit the when it hit the receiver to the top of this reference line from this level here we have to measure it by a tape measure so we said we said the top of this is is 12 above sea level meter for 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 this exercise let's say once once this receiver start beeping and shows this sign that's mean it is at this position of the stick at this position of the stick we have we have uh, the they call it the height of collimation height of collimation what does that mean height of collimation height of collimation it mean the level the 12 meters which is the the actual level of the reference which being given plus let's say this is the distance the height from the top of that reference to the where it start beeping and you had this sign let's say that is one meter so the height of collimation height of collimation 
equal 12 meter plus 1 meter so that's equal 13 meters so the height of collimation is 13 meters above sea level so in our exercise my gradient level my gradient level is 11.8 this is 11 i want to get to this level here which is 11.8 meters from my calculations from my calculation i need to use that stick to go on site to know while this still working rotating to give me this level 11.8 so what i do is I say the height of collimation, height of collimation, which is, I use that 13 now, which is worked it out, 13 meters. Okay, so that's minus the gradient area, the gradient level minus 11.8. So that will give me. 13 minus 11.8, that will give me 1.2 meter. 1.2 meter. So, how are we going to use this 1.2 meter? It's easy enough. I will get that stick now and measure. Then you go back here and you put the stick here. You put the stick where the graded area is, and then you set you set the receiver you set the receiver into a level of the stick. You measure you measure from the bottom of the stick to the to the line where the receiver hits the stick. You measure one point two meters what will happen now what will happen is now let's say whatever so the whatever the machine the, the rotating laser is once it's hit once you start seeing this sign and start peeping then you know that you know that it is that is the right level so you hold it here you hold it there you hold it there you hold it there until you've got all this level at 11.8 so but if you see a sign going like this like this one here that's mean you need to go down you tell the driver you need to tell the driver to dig a bit more or, or the sign is up that's mean we need to go up a bit until we start having this sign here like the minus sign is peeping at it that means it is you have reached the grading level which is 11.8 in this particular exercise uh, and now we come to the last question is how do we calculate grading in a 3d with software digitally uh, to do that in order to do that we go back to our uh, exercise here and as we see here we have got the the big area there and you've got the small area the grading and um, we will hopefully in the other tutorial we will go in really in details about how we do that but for now I just want to show you how do we do it in the software where you go to the volumes and basically you create uh, a volume in here uh, let's have a volume and you pick the one one uh, surface uh, say the existing that's fine and then you put another one compare it with the other one for example the finish level and basically you say okay and eventually it's giving you straight away it's giving you the volume of it where it is you got cut 2300 cubic and fill six six thousand two hundred and fourteen uh, and uh, basically if you want to have 
the the table of it uh, and the, you put the table there if you want to where it shows you this these details of the cut and fill so if you want to pass it on to your uh, team uh, so this is uh, how it is you see how easy it is to work out the volume and will give you a good idea about what have you done here and the uh, the, the volume, the calculations, and many other things we have discussed in here. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and you benefited from it. And if you uh, if you like this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel and like. And uh, we will see you again.